Hi guys, a couple of days back I modified this battery powered uh, cat with the waving hand, the Maniki Nico, I think it's called, uh, from Pound, no it wasn't from Poundland, it came from Tesco because they had stock in for the Chinese New Year and then they were selling it off cheap, what was left. I modified it so it's solar powered. Normally it just has a double A battery. And that works fine. Bit of sunlight on it and it rocks away very happily. So I thought I might modify his big brother. It's exactly the same setup. It's got a AA battery in there. Bought this in a charity shop, cost me two pounds, uh, which is interesting because that one cost me two pounds as well. Anyway, rather than solder wires in there and take them out to a solar panel, quite a while back, I'll just wait for that helicopter to go over. Is he gone? Yeah. And quite a while ago, I did some dummy AA batteries. 3D printed them, took the top end and bottom end off of these cheap Poundland batteries and soldered wires onto the back of them and put them in these 3D printed dummies so that I could take the wires out and power the item externally. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just 3D printing another dummy battery. Then I'll wire it up so we're attached to the front and back. And then the other end of that, I'll put on a solar panel. So we can just shove that in there. And he'll be solar powered when we want him to be solar powered. And when we don't want to be solar powered, we can put a battery in him. That should make Nanny happy because when this one's running at night with a battery in it, it makes a continuous knocking noise, which annoys her. So if it's only running during the day off solar power, she should be happy. I did do a full video on making these dummy batteries. So I can just point you at that video, but it's fairly straightforward. We just want to get the end caps off these. Not all batteries have got end caps, but these cheap Poundland ones do. If I can get the plastic off. Oh, this one's corroded, that's why it's been a bit awkward. my favourite tool. Right. Yeah, so that's one end cap. So it's a bit corroded around the edges, but that's not going to matter for my purposes. Oh, nearly. There we are. Right. So my dummy battery looks like this one. So we can just put those on the ends of it when it's finished printing and solder the wires, solder the wires on first and then push that in place. You'll see what I mean. This is my 3D printed dummy AA battery. Same dimensions. And then I'll go on one end. Whether I glue it or not, I can't remember what I did before. Probably glued it. That'll go on that end. I 
just poked a tiny hole through the center of both of them. And I've got my solar panel on the end of a pair of wires. So, if I can remember, on this particular one I've used greyest negative and whitest positive. So we want the white to go in that direction. Got it. Right, and then grey for the negative. Right, now. for a few seconds. Just I put a little bit of that in there, that'll probably do the job. I think gluing it would be a better idea, but that'll do for the purpose of demonstrating it. And then that will tuck in there, out of the way. A little bit of glue in there to hold that still as well. Right, if we're lucky, that should make a reasonable contact in there. I will just say this is a little bit corroded in there anyway. Because when I got it, it got a dead battery in it originally. Right, so he's sitting there. We don't want his arm rocking. Just to sit there like that and then we need some sunlight. So we'll use the halogen bulb in here. Well, it's not exactly shooting away, is it? It's definitely beginning to rock. I don't know if he's actually aligned correctly. I might need a bigger solar panel. Well, he's rocking, but I reckon a bigger solar panel would obviously do better. That should be all right, though, to be honest. I mean, it's only running off a one and a half volt battery. But as I said, that one does eat the batteries. They don't last long in there. I mean, we're talking days, we're not talking hours. Days or weeks, but not not forever. <laughs> well, to be honest, that almost seems like cheating. <laughs> that panel's about four times the size of the other one, if not more. But he's certainly rocking now.
see if we can start from a stop. Got a bit of a funny wave going on, hasn't he? But he did that just now when I started filming and then he got into a rhythm and he was all right. So, yeah, somewhat bigger solar panel than I intended to use, but that works. So we haven't modified the cat at all. All we've done is used a dummy battery that goes away to a solar panel. So you could use that on other, solar, uh, other rocking toys, convert them to solar power. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel, and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.